the bloody A70 weighs about 125 grams. And that may be a problem for some of you, depending on your preference. In this video, I will show you how to make your bloody A70 20 grams lighter by removing a heavy steel weight that is located in the middle of it. I will show you how to take apart the mouse safely and how to remove the weight successfully. Luckily, I can assure you this modification to your blade mouse is pretty easy and safe to do. If you find my tutorial useful or helpful, let me know in the comments below. Now let's get on with the video. In order to successfully disassemble the mouse without causing any damage to it and safely removing the weight inside, you will need the following tools. Number one, a small Phillips head screwdriver. Number two, a flat head screwdriver or any small, thin, flat piece of metal object that can be used to wedge in between the mouse. And third, this one is optional, a glue stick like this one. To begin the disassembly of this mouse, there are four screws. One, two, three, four. All these screws are beneath these metal mouse feet. In order to access them, you must pry off these mouse feet. There is an adhesive which keeps these uh, feet glued to the mouse. So, in order to take these feet off, this may be a little harder for you than me, because I've already done it. You have to grab your flat head screwdriver, or whatever object you're using, slowly wedge it, try to dig it in, and eventually you can wriggle your way beneath it, and you'll be able to pop it off. So, right here is what the mouse foot looks like. As you can see, it's a it's a it's a piece of metal with some paper adhesive on the back. The reason why I brought up this glue stick was to show you that in order to reapply these, if the glue happens to weaken a little bit, you can simply rub a little bit of glue stick on the end of this in order to secure it back on. Beneath the mouse foot is a screw, as you can see. This is a Phillips head screw. Now. We would do the same for all four of these mouse feet. Remember, it will be much harder for you than me because I've already taken these feet off. As you can see, I'm digging my way in there and then I'll slowly pry it off. There we go. All four mouse screws are visible now. One, two, three, four. Try to choose an appropriately sized screwdriver because you do not want to strip these screws. All the screws have been taken off. Now we can pull this part down and release the casing. Be careful though, because this part up here is secured by a ribbon cable to the bottom. So when you pull this off, slowly just pull off the casing. As you can see, here's the ribbon cable. Don't, don't yank on that. And there you have it. Right here is the weight that makes this mouse about 20 grams heavier. In order to take it off, simply grab your screwdriver and if you can focus, unscrew this weight. This is a completely unnecessary part of the mouse. I believe Bloody Gaming has this part in the mouse to probably stabilize and balance out the weight. That is my theory. Right here is the steel weight that I just removed from the mouse. It is about one centimeter by one and a half centimeters, and it's actually very heavy. So let's see how much this thing actually weighs. This weight weighs 20 grams. So here is a 20 gram piece of steel that weighs down the mouse. As you can see, this is what the mouse looks like with the casing off. Now, in order to put this back together, you can simply put the casing back on and put back in the four screws. And now your mouse is about 20 grams lighter. Now we have all four mouse screws back in and now we can put the mouse feet back on. If you would like the mouse feet to stick on a little bit better and not come off, you can simply grab a glue stick like this and just cover the bottom of the foot with a little bit of glue. There you go. And now I can just simply stick the mouse feet back on and use glue stick adhesive if necessary.
And there you have it. Now that we have all the mouse feet back on and the weight removed, now let's weigh the mouse and see how much lighter it is. 105 grams. That is incredible. We decreased the weight of this mouse by 20 grams, just like that. Thanks for watching and making it this far in the video. One last thing I'd like to mention before you go is that this trick works on the A70 Matte Black, the A70 Original, and the A60, since all these mice have the same shell design. Make sure to check me out on Discord and Instagram, linked in bio, and buy my Helix Cape if you are interested in supporting the channel. See ya!